Tesla automobile repairs. If you're looking for help fixing your Tesla automobile, look no further. Our comprehensive Tesla automobile repair guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your vehicle. Tesla manufactures cars that owners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy auto requires occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Tesla auto repair from experienced professionals, your local auto helper can help. Applying WD-40 to door handle pivot pins. In severe winter conditions, applying WD-40 to door handle pivot pins can help prevent ice buildup that might immobilize the handle. Consider applying WD-40 to the door handle pivot pins if you are expecting freezing rain, heavy snow, or icy conditions. Reapply as needed. To apply WD-40 to the door handle pivot pin. 1. Open the door handle and prop it open using a folded towel or other soft material. 2. Attach the provided straw to the nozzle of the WD-40 bottle. 3. Put on eye protection. 4. Place the end of the straw next to the pivot pin and spray it for approximately one second. Taking care not to accidentally spray other components. 5. Remove the towel or other soft material used to prop the door handle open. 6. Pivot the door handle in and out approximately 10 times. 7. For a second time, place the end of the straw next to the pivot pin and spray it for approximately one second. Taking care not to accidentally spray other components. 8. Remove the towel or other soft material used to prop the door handle open. 9. Pivot the door handle in and out approximately 10 times. 10. Perform this procedure on the other three door handles. Removing ice from door handle. In severe winter conditions, ice buildup within the door handle can prevent the door handle from opening. The process for freeing a Model 3 door handle is slightly different than other door handles. You can usually remove the ice with a few forceful bumps to the door handle using the bottom of your fist. Caution. Remove any jewelry or objects that can damage the paint prior to performing the procedure. And do not attempt to use tools or excessive force. 1. Forcefully press the rearmost part of the door handle to initially try to open the door handle and release light or moderate ice buildup. 2. Working in a circular pattern around the perimeter of the door handle. Use the bottom of your fist to forcefully bump the door handle to break and release the ice buildup. 3. Aiming for the rearmost end of the wide part of the door handle. Use the bottom of your fist to forcefully bump the door handle. Increase the intensity of the bumps as necessary. Repeating steps 1 and 2 until the ice is removed and the door handle can be opened. 4. Once the door handle is able to move, open and close it a few more times to release any remaining ice buildup. Make sure the door handle is fully pressed in retracted prior to entering the vehicle. And check that the door is fully closed before driving away. Replacing hood struts. Your hood struts can be replaced if they begin to fail for any reason. To replace your hood struts. 1. Open the hood and use a non-marring prop to temporarily support it. 2. Use a trim tool to release the clip on the bottom of the strut and pull the strut off from the mount on the body of the vehicle. 3. Use a trim tool to release the clip on the top of the strut and pull the strut off from the mount on the hood. Remove the old strut from the vehicle. 4. Clean the mounting locations on the vehicle and then lubricate both pivot points of the new strut. 5. Secure the rod end of the strut to the body of the vehicle then the body end of the strut to the hood. Ensure the clips are secure. 6. Remove the hood prop and ensure the hood opens and closes as expected. Replacing trunk struts. Your trunk struts can be replaced if they begin to fail for any reason. To replace the trunk struts. 1. Open the trunk and use a non-marring prop to temporarily support it. 2. Use a trim tool to release the clip that attaches the lower end of the trunk strut to the hinge on the vehicle then release the strut. 3. Use a trim tool to release the clip that attaches the upper end of the trunk strut to the hinge on the trunk lid. And then remove the strut from the vehicle. 4. Clean the mounting hinges and then lubricate both pivot points on the new strut. 5. Secure the rod end of the strut to the hinge on the vehicle then the body end of the strut to the hinge on the trunk lid. Ensure the clips are secure. 6. Remove the prop and ensure the trunk opens and closes as expected. Topping up windshield washer fluid. The only reservoir into which you can add fluid is the windshield washer fluid reservoir, which is located behind the front trunk. When the level is low, a message displays on the touchscreen. To top up the washer fluid. 1. Open the hood. 2. 
Clean around the filler cap before opening it to prevent dirt from entering the reservoir. 3. Open the filler cap. 4. While avoiding spilling, fill the reservoir until the fluid level is visible just below the filler neck. 5. Wipe up any spills immediately and wash the affected area with water. 6. Replace the filler cap. Calibrating windows. In the unlikely event that a window behaves unexpectedly touches the bright molding. Fails to open or close properly. Goes down more than normal when the door opens. Etc. You can calibrate it to potentially fix the issue. To calibrate a window. 1. Close the door with the affected window. 2. Sit in the driver's seat and close the driver door. 3. Use the driver window switch to raise the affected window until it stalls. 4. Use the driver window switch to lower the affected window until it stalls. 5. Use the driver window switch to raise the affected window until it stalls.